All right, I wanted to make a video here because I couldn't find one on YouTube about setting up the Nano Talon, uh, Talon airplane. Uh, this has the stabilizer in it and everything else to a Spectrum radio. I was having some difficulty and the only difficulty was that on the sheet it does say do not have any mixing. Well, I thought mixing of channels, but that also means that do not tell your radio that it is a VTEL. You don't need to. Just leave it all standard, all standard setup. One servo, obviously, for the wings, but do not tell it that it is a VTEL in your radio. The stabilizer itself that comes with this, it mixes and does that automatically. So that, that's where I was having my issue. Um, uh, when I was setting things up, I wasn't getting the correct controls, but as soon as I took it off and put it on to like a standard tail, again, the stabilizer will do all your mixing. So what I did is I have, uh, there's my receiver. I have it in set in here sideways, all the wires plugged into it. Instead of using the port for a satellite, I think I'm going to get a better signal um, with a standard receiver in here. Uh, this is an easy one. Um, it's, it does have, it, it is the DSM-X. I have an antenna that goes straight out and I have one going straight down through the foam. I poked a hole so one goes vertical and the other one goes horizontal. Anyway, I didn't do any other changes other than, uh, the, than that to figure it out. Um, I am running a four cell because I heard that you can get a lot more power out of it and the CSC says it can take a four cell. This is a 1400 milliamp battery. Uh, I bet I'm going to get a lot of long, long run time on this. You can see it's positioned in the cockpit there for balancing. I mounted a Foxier camera up here. Uh, this is an okay camera. I've got some higher ones, but uh, higher resolution and better ones, but I'm going to give it a try first. And, I have it all hot glued in. It's very easy just to barely mount it in here so I can take it out when I want. Now, what I did is I've seen a lot of them uh, stick the receiver video transmitter antenna up high uh, above or um, uh, up here in front or kind of right in here. But what I decided was mounting it below. So underneath the Nano, uh, there is a little compartment here, a magnet compartment, and it's very big. It's really cool. There's so much space to just mount all kinds of stuff. So I mounted my uh, video transmitter inside of here. I double-sided tape it down so I can then I can lift this off and change the channel if I want to. Uh, my antenna is right here. It runs up. I have it hot glued in here. Uh, I put foam in between the ESC wires that run back to the motor. Um, to kind of see if it's going to give me any interference, I don't know. But I like this. Um, it's on the bottom side of the plane itself. Big compartment. I hooked the power cord up. I used kind of a servo plug or a battery plug, standard one. Hooked it up to the wire to the battery. Um, and then easily I can unplug it just to remove everything if I want to or work on it or change it out or whatever. I just have the power supply hooked up directly to the battery. This puts out the 5 volts for the camera, etc. Um, anyway, I have not flown it yet. Um, I balanced everything out. It works very well. Um, I think it's going to be a fun little flyer from what I've seen. But here you can see the antenna. So the antenna is right there. So if I hit you know, come down for a landing. Yes, I probably will drag it on things, but it is pretty stout. I have it in here, and I think you could probably pick up the whole, yep, you can pick up the whole aircraft and swing it around with the antenna. I have it glued in there, hot glued, which you can easily remove. Um, but other than that, everything's set up very, very easy. It was not difficult at all. Uh, the main thing I like about this little FPV one is that I can quickly just unclip these wings and slide them off in the tails and throw it in the box and take it with me anywhere I want to go. I don't have to worry about its wings sticking out, which is kind of cool. Again, I got it as a gift. Um, a friend that does all kinds of FPV as well and uh, thought I would really like it. So we'll give it a try. I got it all balanced. I will probably uh, mount a camera up here in the front. It does have a camera mount right here. I'll put a little small camera for videoing or whatever, but who knows, I just wanted to give it a try, but I wanted to show that setup for Spectrum. Leave it on standard and just plug it in and everything works out uh, just fine on there. Anyway, that's the uh, Talon, the mini, uh, the Nano Talon. It is pretty small. Um, it's not real big. It's really cool and simple. I think it's going to be a lot of fun.
Anyway, thanks for watching.